Hi friends, today's landform is on page, I think it's on page, yeah, page eight, and it's about the valleys. And we're looking at the video to learn how our valleys formed. And you're going to answer that question with the sentence stem that says, a valley can be formed by, and then you're gonna tell me one of the ways a valley can be formed. When you are finished writing your sentence, color in this picture and show me the valley. I added something to my valley that they didn't actually put in the picture, but I thought it was kind of important for it to be included. Take a picture of your work and share it with me on Seesaw. Pause right now to write down the sentence stem and the video will start in just a moment. First off, what is a valley in the first place? Well, we can say they look like big long cracks in the ground, but the definition of a valley is a low area of land between hills or mountains, typically with a river or stream flowing through it. They can range wildly in size, from small ones to dozens of kilometers across. Valleys are really simple, but they are incredibly important to us. They are some of the most iconic landmarks, such as the Grand Canyon in the United States, which is often considered one of the wonders of the world. And some valleys were critical for the development of early civilizations of humans, such as Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt. So, how are valleys formed? Well, there are a lot of different ways valleys can be made, so we'll just have to run through the most common ones. River valleys are formed by streams of water over the course of thousands of years, with erosion wearing away at the underlying dirt and rock, often causing them to take a V-shape. A good example of this is, of course, the Grand Canyon in Grand Canyon National Park. There's also glacial valleys, which are made by the movement of glaciers carving into the earth, and typically take a U-shape. Yosemite Valley in California was formed this way. Now then, why do valleys matter to us humans? Well, we wouldn't be where we were today without valleys. All the first great human civilizations grew in river valleys because they provided an enormous number of benefits, a constant, reliable source of drinking water, and water for growing crops and farming food is the most obvious, of course. But they also allowed for the use of boats for fishing, transportation, and trade. Mesopotamia was a river valley civilization which existed thousands of years ago. It was believed to have invented many technologies, such as metal and copper working, and was also one of the first Bronze Age societies in the world. Valleys are simple, but they're incredible monuments of nature we can marvel at, and they are the cradle our modern civilization was built on. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, and subscribe to see more like it.